I know Java, but my company have assigned me a Python project. I know Python, but company have assigned me a JavaScript project. I know JavaScript, but company have assigned me the Java project. This is a very common scenario in IT, and recently I got almost three to four comments on my channel that Mukesh, I know Selenium Java, but my company have assigned me to a project where they're using Cypress or they're using Python with Selenium. What should I do? Should I ask my manager to change the complete language stack or tool stack or should I resign or what should I do? So I want to share my thoughts and input on this that whenever you come across this situation, please consider this as an opportunity. Okay, don't take it as a threat that now you have to reinvent the wheel. Okay, this is not true. Whenever you work with any automation tool, let's say you worked on Selenium with Java, so you know the in and out concept, right? You don't only learn how to perform basic operations, you know the complete tool stack, how to get started, how to write a script, how to build framework, and the Git, GitHub, Jenkins, Docker, everything you have done. Now suppose if you get a chance to work with Cypress, Playwright, WebDriver, IO, Selenium with Python, then it will not, like everything will change. Basically, the language syntax will change for you. The tool syntax or the tool uh, functionality will change a little bit, but the automation concept will remain the same. For example, you know Java, switching to JavaScript will take roughly one or two weeks because you know the programming concept, right? You know how to design variables, how to uh, run a basic programs, how to run loops, how to run condition statements, how to create classes, objects, methods, exception handling, right? So these are the core fundamentals of any programming. So whether you change from Java to JavaScript, JavaScript to Python, Python to Ruby, any language, obviously syntaxes will change, few additional features or functionality will change, but the core concept will remain same. So whenever you come across this situation, please take this as an opportunity and do it. It's not only for this, sometimes you might get into a new role that new role required this set of skill set. So instead of being very uh, particular about one tool stack, try to learn the separate tool stack. It will not take much time. For example, let's say Selenium, you know, now you're getting chance to work with Cypress. Not will, not everything will change. The site, Cypress terminologies will change. The methods will change. Uh, the syntax, how to create test cases, test suite will change, but the automation core concepts will never change. So whenever you come across this situation, please take it and continue. Let's say I will take two examples just for the reference, but you can compare with any two programming language. Let's say you are on this side, you have learned Java, Selenium, Maven, TestNG, and the complete tool stack. Now you're getting a chance to work on Cypress. So first of all, your language will change, right? So switching to language, one or two weeks. From Selenium to Cypress, again, one or two weeks, depends on your uh, you know, learning pattern, how quickly you learn, um, are you taking some courses or training, or you're getting some KT from the office. Let's say here using Maven, here you will be using NPM. Here you're using uh, Excel sheet, you're using uh, separate libraries, here you will be using fixtures. Here using Git, GitHub, Jenkins, here also you will use the same. So not everything will change, only few things from the tool stack will change, but base will remain the same. So never uh, think that you are in a trouble if possible try, try to get some help either through your team uh, from a different team if not possible try to get help from the friends mentors uh, to whom you follow on youtube linkedin but please don't stick to one programming language don't stick to one automation tool try to understand the bigger picture because you cannot survive in it if you are not flexible flexible in terms of language flexible in terms of tools flexible in terms uh, on a particular domain or area. So whenever you come across a new uh, role or tool stack, please consider this as opportunity and do it. Obviously, you need to spend some extra effort because you will be switching uh, from one language to another language, one tool to another tool that will require some extra effort that you have to communicate with a manager. Okay, uh, let's say that you worked on Java Selenium. You can ask your manager that this is my tool stack. I'm okay to take this challenge, but I need this much of time in order to transform myself into a different tool stack and everybody understand the situation. You might also come across this situation that they took your interview on one tool stack, but the moment you join the company, now they have a different tool stack. 
So again, you cannot say no because they have hired you for your automation skills, not for a particular language or tool basis. They hired you for your knowledge. They hired you for the complete automation domain knowledge that you have that you can transform to any language or any tool. So I hope I'm able to uh, share my views. If you have any kind of questions related to, uh, to this, let me know in the comment section. Or if you have any other views that you want to share for this particular topic, that is also welcome. If your friends also facing this kind of challenges, please share this video with them. And if you are also in the same situation, uh, let me know if you need any help from my side and I will try my best to support you. Thank you so much guys and see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.